I mean, it's unison. So if the note is repeated, it sounds like this. Same note, just repeat it. Like, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Right? Happy. That's the same note you can hear. Pardon, that is a very, very loud, annoying ring. It's my fax ring. Hold on for a second. So, um, just to go over, let's, let's wait for that to... There it is, there's a fax, la la la. Let's go back over the intervals that we uh, learned. So a minor second going up and down. Let's sing it. Like Jaws. Going up, minor second. Going down. Da -da. Joy to the world. Joy to... That's a minor second going down. Major second. Uh, ascending, going up. Happy... Sorry, wrong note. Happy birthday. Right? So not the unison. Happy. That's unison. But then, happy birthday actually a major second going up, birth, and then going down, day. Um, also, Mary had a little lamb. Mary is a major second or a whole step. Good, a minor third. So long, farewell, my leaders in it. So that interval of a minor third going up, ascending is so long. I'm a little annoyed with the fax machine. Sorry, guys. You're just going to have to bear with me for a second while it rings. I think it's going to have a third more ring and then go through. I'll go see what happened to it after we're done taping. Um, a minor third going down. Frosty, frosty, the snowman, frosty. That's a minor third going down. A major third. Do, me going up. Oh, when the saints, do, me. Major third. Going up, going down, or ascending. Um, Da, 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 da. Beethoven's fifth theme, or swing low, sweet cherry. That's a major third. Here's an interval now, review of the perfect fourth. Perfect fourth going up, here comes the bride. Perfect fourth going down. What's one going down? I've been working on the railroad. So, perfect fourth going down. Um, now an interval of a tritone. Going up, it's the Simpsons, do fi, or, sorry, um, tritone. Going down, it sounds a little funny. I don't actually have like a mnemonic or a, or a song for that. Tritone, doo -doo -doo. That's your tritone. Um, and later we'll get to why that can also be called an augmented fourth or a diminished fifth. Uh, so now let's get to the perfect fifth. Twinkle, twinkle, do so. Perfect fifth, going up and down. Perfect fifth, Flintstones, meet the Flintstones. Do do, perfect fifth. Going over A minor sixth. Um, going up and down, that love story is do 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 do. So going up, do do do. Going down, do do do. So, up and down. Minor sixth, minor sixth. Good, let's go over a major sixth now. Uh, to review the major sixth going up, N, B, C, so just that N, B. Major sixth going up, a major sixth going down, or descending is uh, nobody knows the treble action, right? Nobody, nobody knows. So that's a major sixth going down. Uh, minor seventh. There's a place for us from West Side Story. I don't know when going down, but it sounds like this. Uh, minor seventh going up and down. Minor seventh going up. Minor seventh going down. Minor seventh. Good, that's minor seventh. Major seventh goes like this. Do, T, or almost do, up to the octave, do, do, but one half step lower. So, 11 half steps. Do, do, major seventh. Sing it with me. And then down. Major seventh. And then we've got an octave. Uh, an octave is just 12 half steps apart, up or down. Do, do, or perfect octave, or perfect A, somewhere over the rainbow. Going up and on the way down. Well, oh, wait for me. 
So you've got the perfect up, octave up or down. Once again, a unison is a note just repeated, just a repeated note. Happy birthday to you. Again, happy birthday to you. So anywhere these octaves are, anywhere on the piano, anywhere on your voice, um, now you'll know what the octaves sound like. I, sorry, what the intervals sound like. I hope you'll go back and practice over and over and over uh, singing along with this tutorial in terms of intervals and what they sound like because uh, when we get to later lessons, these intervals will be very, very important. And as singers, we have to think intervallically. We have to think in intervals. Otherwise, um, we don't really know what we're doing in terms of moving from one note to the next. So if you see a C to D, on the page, you know that's a whole step apart. And a whole step apart, going from C up to D, is going to be an interval of a major second, and now you'll know how to sing it, because you can sing Happy Birthday, right? So you know, going up, Do, Re, or C, D, is a major second. Uh, I think that's it for today. I'm Sarah Lieb, this is Singing Television. Thanks so much for joining me. Um, and I guess my question for you today is this. Do you know any other good examples of um, what an interval is in terms of uh, a song example? Comment below. Let me know. I'm Sarah Lieb. This is Singing Television. Uh, we're making singing simple. Thanks a lot.